Hi, this is Ryan Stewart. I'm a platform evangelist with Adobe, and I wanted to show off a Flash application that I built specifically for the Nexus One and the Flash player that's inside the browser on the Nexus One. So what I've got here is a application that I built that basically connects the two APIs. Uh, there's a GeoNames API that has a bunch of data about where mountains are, where streams are, and a bunch of physical features as well as some city features. And there's also a Foursquare API that allows me to check into locations. One of the things that I don't like about Foursquare is that right now it's very limited to bars or restaurants or kind of places that you go in the city. And I wanted to be able to add, easily add and check into places when I go for hikes, like streams or mountains or things like that. And so I created a mobile application uh, on the Flash Player that works with the Nexus One and allows me to do just that. Now, we don't have geolocation APIs in the Flash Player in the browser. We have them for Air on Android, but for this application, because it's a browser application, I used the trick that Serge Jespers blogged about that uses the Android browser geolocation APIs and passes them into my Flash application. So if I go ahead and share my location here, uh, share it, then it'll automatically pop into my Flash browser application here. Let me zoom out a little bit. And the Flash player experience inside the Nexus One is pretty straightforward. So when I select this, you'll see that I have got an orange rectangle. That means it's activated. I can double click it to go into full screen mode. And then I've got a couple of things here. So I've got some buttons so that I can search the GeoNames API for specific types of data. So I can search for lakes, search for a forest, search for glaciers. Or I can leave it blank to search the GeoNames database for just anything around me. And then I can use this radius button and just touch it and drag it out and scroll it to tweak the radius to what I want it to be. I'll do a pretty small radius, so we'll do something small here. That sounds good. And then if I click the search button, it's going to go out to the GeoNames API and grab all the things that are around me. And I'm here in downtown Ballard in my neighborhood here in Seattle. So it's going to be fairly city-centric. But if we get a list there, we can kind of see... Some of the things that we've got. And we've got a lot of churches, we've got the Ballard Post Office there. So I can use this to check into Foursquare by just selecting one of these. Or I can use the map view and I can see how this looks on a map and see where I am in relation to all these different objects. So I can zoom in here, do, 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 select one of these to see which, which one it is. In theory. Use my fingers to drag around the map. And this is the exact same Google Maps Flash API that you'd use in any other Flash browser application. So it works pretty seamless, seamlessly here inside the Nexus One. And I get all the exact same tweens that I would expect from Flash. I can go back to the home screen and research, go back to my list view. And then once I've seen where I am on the map, I can go ahead and check into that Ballard Post Office. So I'll just select the Ballard Post Office. And it should use the 3G, net 3G network that I'm on to check me into that location on Foursquare. if the network is running correctly. And I can also go back and search, of course. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted this to be a mobile application was so that I could tweak it and see kind of which features were around me and take this with me on any flash-enabled Android device that I might have on me. So hopefully a pretty good example of what you can do with the Nexus One and how you can create content for it using the exact same skills that you've got as a Flash developer right now, and in a lot of cases, the exact same APIs and the exact same libraries that you're already using.